My name is Jonathan Grant. I'm a byproduct of Montgomery County Public Schools. I first started off preschool at Town and Country Day School in Wheaton, Maryland. And then I went to my neighborhood elementary school, which is Flower Valley Elementary School, then Earl B. Wood Junior High, and then Rockville High School. I would guess you would say I grew up in a uh, nuclear family, meaning I, have a, I had a mother and father, brother, and we grew up in the Flower Valley community. But most of my youth was in the uh, church environment in Lincoln Park, which is in Rockville, where I'm still uh, participating in the uh, ministry there. As far as my education, after I went to uh, Rockville High School and graduated, I went on to the University of Maryland at College Park, where I uh, was a student athlete. I was an engineer, mechanical engineer major, while playing football at the uh, college level on a full scholarship. Then after I completed my bachelor's in mechanical engineering, I went to the University of Alabama in Tuscaloosa, where I got a master's in material science engineering. And after leaving there, I came back to this area, back to Maryland, where I continued to pursue a PhD in uh, material science engineering at Howard University. But then based on a passion that I had for youth and for teaching, I transferred to uh, teaching and I started uh, another degree, a Master's of Divinity degree at Howard University School of Divinity. So I'm a family man. I'm married to Micah Mills Grant. Uh, we have two children. We have Samuel Houston Grant, who is three years old, and Jude Hall Grant, who is eight months years old. Uh, I spend a lot of time with my children. Um, I bring my both my boys to, well to Sunday school. Uh, we also uh, do a lot of things as a family on the weekends and uh, throughout the week. When I'm not with my family, of course, I'm a, I'm a math teacher in Roberto Clemente Middle School and also a math professor at Montgomery College in Germantown. So a lot of my time outside of my family is spent with mentoring and also uh, educating those young minds in mathematics. I've always had a passion for football. Um, as a youngster um, growing up in Fly Valley community, I had a next door neighbor called Mr. William Beck, who was one of the greatest uh, youth football coaches at Wheaton Boys Club. And he started, he gave me, actually introduced me to football at an early age. And so I, was, I started off playing at Wheaton Boys Club and then went on to, of course, play at Rockville High School and the University of Maryland. I also started to uh, participate in a boys club uh, with Briggs Cheney Youth Sports Association. And then we went on to become White Oak Youth Sports Association, which is a Pop Warner football league. So I've been working with the, that organization since 2003 as the vice president up until last year. And then last year, I decided just to be on the board. But I always you know, was, was a coach there. And I continue to also have, also we created a tutorial program in the early years of White Oak to kind of make sure the students know that they are student athletes and not just athletes on the field. They have to be, you know, role models in the classroom as well as they continue to progress and continue to do good things in athletics. My life motto is, if I can help somebody, then my living shall not be in vain. And that's a old uh, spiritual that we, that grew up in the black church we had many players who possibly, if they didn't have White Oak, maybe would not have played in high school. And we had some players even go on to the pros. As you know, uh, Joe Leffridge was a byproduct of White Oak, and now he's playing for the Annapolis Colts. And again, Joe would work hard. I mean, I saw Joe's growth because he came from Briggs Cheney, and then he went through White Oak as well. But again, we saw the growth because, again, he had a, he had a passion for football, but he also had a respect for the coaches, respect for his parents, respect for his teachers. My motto in life is if I can help somebody, then my living should not be in vain. I feel that if I can help a young person or to develop a mind, either on the football field or in the classroom, then I'm going to help a person to be successful and be a good citizen in life.